Coupa includes a number of different ways that you can put together a purchase requisition. I want to show you six of those items. The six we're going to look at today are searching by a catalog, either provided by your employer or provided by one of your vendors. You can also browse a list made up by your employer. There's a free form entry where you can enter whatever you want and specify details about what you're looking for. You can also order from a pre-designed web form that your employer put together to make it easy to buy certain things. You can also order from an order list. If you have recurring purchases, you can order from an order list. It'll allow you to put that requisition together much quicker. And finally, you can order from almost any website. If it offers items to purchase, you can then create an I request form that'll come right into your requisition in Coupa. So let's get started. So I'm going to start here. I'm just going to type in what I wish to purchase. I'm looking for a laptop. See what's available in the catalog that I already have. I've got a number of items here. Haven't quite hit the laptops. Let's go to the next page. I've got one here. I've had this before. I'm going to order that. So I'm going to add that to my cart. Another way to buy things is to browse items that have been set up in a hierarchy. Well, here I'm going to go to browse. I'm going to choose from items. Here's a number of different types of items. I'm going to go into the IT area. I'm looking for a couple of things here. So I'm going to go down here. I already have the laptop, but I do need a docking station. So I'm going to add that. That's added to my cart. You can see that here. Another way to add things to my requisition is in a free form. I can just specify what I want, from whom I want to get it. And if I know any additional information, I can supply that as well. So what I need is I need a number of cables. So I'm just going to type that in here. I've got the supplier in mind. I'm going to specify a commodity which links to the general ledger code. So let's do that. Go to the IT here and buy some cables. I know what I need already, and they're about $35, and I need about three of them. So I'm going to put that in, get it by the end of the month. I can add the supplier number later, but this is all I need now to add it to my cart. Another way to add items is a web form. I've got a number of web forms that have been predefined to order specific items. And what I'm going to do is I've got a brochure I need to create. So I'm going to go to this web form here. It's a brochure and it's going to be a spiral and I'm going to have color pictures in it. And I need that by next month actually. So I'm going to select that and I could put any additional instructions in here that I wanted to. This has already identified a supplier and it's got the item. And I've got a price on that, so I'm just going to put that price in here. And if I had any additional information about this particular item, I could add it here. But I'm just going to save this, and that too will go into my cart. If I order a set of things on a regular basis, I can set up an order list for that. Here I've got two order lists. I'm going to select this one here. And these are three items that I order on a regular basis. And I'm just going to order some right off this order list here. The price has already been specified. The vendors have been specified as well. So I'm going to add that to my cart. And the final way to purchase something that I want to show you today is to use the I request form. What you can do is you can go to any website that offers things to purchase. You can find that item and then use the I request add into your browser and add that directly to your cart in Coupa. The other day it was an REI and I found something I want to get for the office. So I can go out to the website here and I'm going to scroll down until I find it here. This is the item. It's this portable battery. I'm going to click on that. It brings up this product page on the REI site. This is the item I want. So I'm going to hit the I request add in in my browser. It brings up this form that allows me to add additional information about this particular item. I've got a picture here. That's not the one I want. Let me scroll through the others. This is perfect. I've got the price. I'm going to enter that right here. And actually, I need five of these. So I'm going to add that. I'm going to add the part number here. It's right there on the screen. So I'll just add that in. I'm going to add that to my cart. Now let's take a look at the cart and see what it looks like. So here's my current requisition. I've got a number of items here. I've got the items that I purchased from the catalog. I got the item I look browsing through the hierarchy. I've got cables that I wrote in a free form. I've got an item that I ordered off a web form. I've got these three items here that came from an order list. And finally, I had this last item that I found on a website that I wanted. So I included all of that in my requisition. 
and now I can review it if I want to. But when I'm done, I can just go ahead and submit it for review. And that shows you six ways you can identify items you want to include on your requisition in Coupa. That makes it easy to put a requisition together and also manage those purchases.